Hey folks, we're going to learn some basics of electric weather, how the wind follows the flow of electricity in the atmosphere, and one of the most critical aspects of solar climate forcing that is not in climate models. Let's begin with the pressure cells. High and low cells cover the world, and lows, like this blue area, always have the wind twisting into the center. They go counterclockwise like this in the north, clockwise in the south. In the middle, where the air is converging, it does not just disappear, it goes straight up. This is the opposite of high pressure cells, like this one, where the air twists outward from a central point, clockwise in the north, counterclockwise in the south. Now the air spinning outward from the middle doesn't just manifest out of nowhere, it has descended down from above. So in high pressure, the air comes down and spins out, and in low cells, the air twists in and goes up. This is due to the impact of the global electric circuit. In low pressure cells, the atmospheric electricity is largely flowing upward, just like the wind that is spun into the middle, while in high pressure, the opposite is true. The global electric circuit direction is downward, just like the air that comes down and spins out from the center. These are so organized into the high and low cells because of this up and down flow of electric current present all over the world, and the oxygen, the water, and several other gases of the atmosphere are attracted to that electric current and flow with it. Again, downward in high pressure, upward in low pressure. Now while the ground is the floor of this circuit, the ceiling is the ionosphere, that electrified layer at the top of the atmosphere. That's why scientists call it the global electric circuit. It's all around the world and up and down throughout the entire atmosphere. This is why when a solar flare excites the ionosphere, or a coronal mass ejection compresses Van Allen belt electrons down into the ionosphere, or the auroral energy moves towards the tropics in the equatorward traveling waves, the global electric circuit is excited and impacts the flow and the pressure cells below, which then impacts the wind, clouds, temperature, storms, and more. To be clear, this forcing is strong and rapid and completely is missing from climate models. You can learn more below the video with our climate playlist, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.